Hi everyone, this is Terry from Tidbits and Tinkerings. Today I wanted to do a quick tutorial showing you how to use your photos or images to fill in letters or shapes in Cricut Design Space. The main reason for this video is to show you how to edit this file that you see here on the screen that I am going to be sharing. And we are going to use two different methods to achieve the fill on the letters. Um, I'm going to show you how to use the slice method, which is what I actually prefer. And then I'm also going to show you how to use the pattern fill. So we will go ahead and start out with the slice method. And for the word dad, I used the font Arial Black. And you'll notice that it, they have the letters have no centers. That is because I separated these to letters and then used the contour feature to get rid of the insides of the letters so that when we place our pictures, they're not going to have that cut out. All right, so one trick I have learned is for the letter we're going to be working with, I'm going to select that and I'm going to change that to draw temporarily so that we can actually see through it. Okay, and I already have some images uploaded, so I'm going to go over here to upload <clears throat> and I'm going to select this picture of my granddaughter and click insert images. And now we will simply just size this image to fit within that letter. I'm going to right click and send to back. And then I'm going to work on the sizing here. And I know I'm not going to get her entire body in this letter because this is a um, portrait mode instead of landscape photo, but I'm just going to get as much of her in there as I can. All right, need to, oops, I grabbed the letter instead. All right, just scoot it back over a little bit, and then once you have it placed how you want it within that letter, you're going to select both the image and the letter and then go down here and click slice. And now we will just get rid of the outside and then there'll also be your little draw outline here. You will just get rid of that and we have our image shaped as our letter D. So that is the slice feature. And to me, that's, it's much quicker than the next way I'm going to show you, which is the um, pattern fill. So I'm going to just use this other D here. And I already have some photos uploaded as pattern fill. But in case you don't know how to do that, I'm just going to show you real quick. You'll go over here to upload. And then instead of choosing Upload Image, you're going to go over here to the right and choose Upload Pattern. And that will place it into your patterns instead of just your um, uploaded images. So I'm going to cancel that. And like I say, I already have some photos uploaded as pattern fill. So I'm going to select my letter. And then I'm going to go over here where it says Fill. And then in the drop down, I'm going to choose print. And then I'm going to choose this little color box here. And where it says print type color, you're going to select pattern. And then this is going to load all of the patterns um, as far as it's going to have Cricut patterns. It's also going to have all of the patterns that you've uploaded yourself. So it does not seem to be wanting to load my patterns. Let's see, switch it back. Yeah, that is not, oh, no, that's right. I don't know what's going on. 
All right, let me try this again. All right, select my letter, go to print, and it's set to print, and then choose my color box and change it to pattern. There we go, now it's loading. I don't know what happened there. Okay, I'm just gonna select a random picture here that I've uploaded as a pattern fill. And you'll notice that it will automatically fill that letter with the pattern. And you can see here that since the image didn't fill the entire letter, it's trying to repeat it. So I want to change that. So I'm going to go over here to Edit Pattern. And in this screen, you can adjust the size and the horizontal and vertical positioning, as well as rotate or flip your image. For the purpose of a quick video, I am just going to adjust the size of the image and make it a little bigger, just so we get rid of that repeating line in there. All right, a little more. Okay, that looks good for the purpose of the video. So once you have your image positioned in there how you like it, just click the X and you'll see it automatically updates on your screen. And that is pretty much it. Um, for the word dad, I used printable vinyl on my project. And I just put this on a piece of wood that I painted. And for the sentiment, I used black um, heat transfer vinyl. And now the sentiment, the font is called Alexis Maddox Emma Ray, and it is an access font. So if you subscribe to access, this file will be free for you to cut. Um, for the names, you know, you'll want to put your own names in here. And if you've worked with fonts in Design Space before, you know that it does not handle fonts as the designer intended. So you'll need to ungroup to letters and then move all your lettering together so that it touches. And then you'll weld it so it cuts as, as one piece. And if you have any questions, just put a comment on my blog or um, down below the YouTube video and I do my best to answer all questions. I sometimes do miss some. So if you've asked a question and I haven't responded within, say, one or two days, just go to my blog, which is tidbitsandtinkerings.com, and use the contact form there to send me an email. And I hope this has taught you something new that you didn't know how to do in Design Space. And have a great day.